President Joe Biden today proposing a plan to help lower the cost of poultry and other meats as consumer prices endure their worst spike in more than four decades. News 10 ABC's Stephanie Rivas explains how this impacts prices in the capital region. Porterhouse steak, that will cost you $14.99. But Robert Cardona says last year that same cut of meat was half the price. We've seen a 100%, sometimes 125 to 150% rise in, in certain food items that we use on a daily basis. Consumer prices rose 6.8% over the previous year, marking the fastest annual inflation rate increase since 1982. It used to be $30 a case, it's now $70 a case. Cardona says it's normal to see prices go up and down within small percentages, so normally the store simply holds off on changing those prices. But when an item costs them double... We can only eat these costs for so long before we have to pass them off to the consumer. Hey, can I get a chicken for a salad, please? Paisan's pizza owner Frank Scavio says that's the hardest part. I've been in business 30 years. I've never seen anything like this in 30 years. Looking at the cost of goods and labor for his restaurant from year to year, Frank says it's depressing. It's a lot of red ink. Very sad. I mean, everything is up double digits. From the rise in the cost of employees to the go-to pizza items like flour and oil, everything impacts his loyal customer base. Some places feel so bad that they just take it off the menu. Cardona says nobody is winning. Uh, it's, it's difficult when you're dealing with customers that have uh, been with you for a long time. Both owners asked the community for some understanding for all of the local restaurants and grocery stores during these unprecedented times. Reporting in Albany, I'm Stephanie Rivas, News 10 ABC.